Hi everybody, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface on the beta for Battle for Azeroth. Now, contrary to popular belief, I am well open to be bribed. And one of my followers on stream, Claire Bear, Palco 13, actually decided to bribe me. And she wanted me to go from pretty much the southernmost tip of Colteras through to the northern point of Colteras and then time myself to see how long it would take and then also repeat the feat, <laughs> it rhymed, in Zandalar as well. Now, she also wanted me to go from east to west or west to east, but I decided not to. And the reason why I decided not to is the north to south, south to north is actually the greatest distance between the two islands. The east to west isn't. So once you've got a time from north to south, really, east to west is a little bit irrelevant because you know it's going to be shorter. So what I'm going to do is head off now and I'm going to follow like the major road. So this isn't, but well, this is just a bit of a laugh. It's a bit of a giggle. It's just to kind of like, see, I'm not trying to prove any point here. It's not like, oh, as you're trying to show that wow smaller it's nothing like that whatsoever literally took a bribe um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to follow the major roads and like swing around and all that kind of jazz but try and get as tight as i can to just going straight from south to north now i'm not going to be jumping over any fields you know running through fields and leaping over fences and all that kind of stuff to take shortcuts no there are plenty of roads for us to take it and then we're going to see exactly how long it will take to get from one point to the other so we've just hit the three minute mark and swinging around the corner cow coincidence uh, we just happen to be coming up to Boralus, which is the major alliance city in this upcoming expansion now, I haven't been on the beta huge, huge amounts. I've been on it a fair bit, but I don't know my way around Boralis. I mean, I, I've got a good idea about where to go, but do I know every nook and cranny like I do Stormwind, Dalaran, blah, 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 all that kind of stuff? No, not even close. So navigating myself through this place might prove to be a wee bit of an obstacle might lose a bit of time in the process, but hey, ooh, whatever. Now, it's also got quite a lot of water because this is a port city as well. So we've got these uh, running rivers all the way through, so you have to try and find a way to go around it. Now, a couple of things that I'm pretty interested in about this. I mean, yes, I took a bong so I could do this video, but it did interest me, and that's one of the reasons why I did agree to it. First of all, because I wanted to see exactly how the two separate three islands kind of married up. Now, obviously, the way that a designer puts together the islands could totally uh, change the time frame of uh, how long it would take to go from north to south or south to north because of the way that it would be laid out. Doesn't mean that it's any smaller. It could just be more vertical as opposed to horizontal. But the way that Zandalar and the way that Colteras both seem to be set out, they do seem to be very, very similar looking landmasses to me so if i am a betting man and i'm not i've got to be honest with you here i would put money on that the times it takes to get from the southern point of colteras to the north and from the southern point of zandalar to the north as well i reckon gonna be very very close indeed and i've left Boralis now, which is rather cool because now I do have just a northern jaunt if I follow this road, and that should take me into Storm Song Valley. Seven minutes and 30 seconds into this, and I am balls deep into this zone here. But I've just realized, looking at the map, to get to the area that I want to get to, which is pretty much the top of Warfang Hold, that is a Horde base. 
and I'm an alliance. And not only is it a horde base, that is the major horde base in this zone. So if I'm to get to my target, I am going to just have to charge through, under fire probably, uh, the horde base with um, PvP flagged guards who are going to flag me for PvP. <laughs> and this could get awfully, awfully messy. But as regards to how quickly and how many detours I've, I've had to make uh, to get here. Apart from Boralus, which was a little bit fiddly, trying to get across the bodies of water, I have pretty much just stuck to the main road, which is which is heading up uh, from the southern path into the northern pass. So I think this is a relatively clean run. I mean, I'm not, you know, some people might do it a little bit quicker and all that kind of stuff, but I think it's a relatively clean run as a, as a decent... Uh, idea about how long it's going to take you to get from one tip to the other. One pole to the other pole. And speaking of poles, don't know where that's leading, um, I'm probably going to have some thrown at me right now because here I come, oh my god, straight through the base. <laughs> All the guards are pounding on me, wailing on me. I think there were some players in there, oh my god, if the players come chasing after me, I'm screwed. Um, flagged for PvP now, so I could easily get smashed to pieces. It doesn't matter, because even if I got killed, I could just pause the uh, stopwatch and everything be okay. But here we go. This is the uh, coastline. We're going to hit the coastline very soon. 9 minutes 41? 9 minutes 41 seconds. Let's just have a, a quick little look at the map. So I went from this point here... And I went up through Tyrogard Sound, through Boralis to Stormstone Valley to here. So pretty much tip to tip, you know, slight, slight deviation. But yeah, 9 minutes, 41 seconds. What can we do in Zandalar? So here we are, Horde side. Might as well use a Horde character. And I'm going to be starting from here, the southernmost tip of the pier. So we're not going to go from that area, because I just think the mountains are going to block me off. And I, I, I don't think that's going to be a fair representation, because I'm going to have to come right across and look through. So what I'm going to do is going to go up through to this point here in Voldoon. Uh, that's where we're going to go. So it looks shorter, but I, I it's trust me. Uh, Zandalar is a bit of a devil in its actual size. Now, I don't have a top-level character for the Horde. Doesn't matter. All the zones scale with you. So if you're 120, you have got 120 mobs. If you're 110, you've got 110 mobs. So the, the danger levels are relatively not exact, but relatively the same. Um, but there is a lot more verticality. This is one of the reasons why I said don't worry too much about the slight change of plan about where we start from. Because there is a lot more verticality as you're already seeing with the horde zones than there are with Cold Terras. Because if you really think about it, and if you watch the video and you just watch the kind of footage of me going through, Cold Terras relatively flat in regards to how uh, World of Warcraft normally uh, lay out certain zones. It's not a criticism because I think uh, the zones look absolutely fantastic and why do everything the same? There's nothing wrong with having uh, a continent which is a little bit flatter. It's the Netherlands of the World of Warcraft. There you go. I've even used an example to put together with it. But if I go across this bridge here... And then if I start to follow the road around, I think I can pretty much main road it all the way north from this point. Um, but yes, there's a lot more undulations when it comes to Zandala. There's a lot more up and down, especially in Zuldazar, which is this first zone. And also when we go to Voldoom, uh, there's also quite a bit of undulations area. Uh, there, the other zone, can't remember what the other zone's called, uh, that is relatively flat once you come out of, of this. So let's push time on a wee bit and see where we are. So picking this up at the 4 minute 30 mark, any particular reason why? Yes, 
bridges. Uh, no, I mean, the reason why I've decided to pick it up here is, again, just to show you how high up I am in relation to the rest of the zone. And it's, if I was over to the east of, of where I'm running to right now, there is stuff for me to do. There is a quest, there is an error. Look, you can see it all there if I bring the map up very briefly. But look how much distance I've traveled and five minutes has gone past. I am still in Zoldazar. This, this particular zone is a real hefty chunk. I told you to trust me on this one. I told you. Um, this has to be surely, surely to goodness, uh, the biggest zone out of the lot of them. And I'm talking about when you take out things like mountain ranges, which make certain zones, you know, appear to be bigger than they actually are. But the reality of the matter is that they just are there to kind of expand uh, the actual landmass to, to make it uh, perceptually bigger. Oh my goodness, this video was just a bit of fun. Now it's turned into philosophical debate. Uh, so yeah, but here we go. I think we're just starting to come out of Zandazar. Yeah, we're actually in the other zone now. They look very similar. Um, but we're only going to be in here for a very short amount of time. And then... If I hang a left, I think we're already going to see. Yes, you can just see in the top of the map. That is actually going to be Voldoon. So, with 6 minutes 30 approaching, let's push on time a little bit more. So, 7 minutes 45 seconds when we pick it back up. And I've hit Voldoon now and... Uh, just going across some sort of like salt flats or something like that. Uh, going through a bit of a snaky person area as well. So, I know this video is a bit of fun. And I know I said that there's no agenda attached to it. And that is absolutely correct. But, having gone through that and having said that, you know, I can't go through this video without trying to uh, pull on your grey matter, make you have a little think about something. Look, we are really close to uh, the northernmost point here, and 8 minutes 30 in, it's going to be really, really close. I think I called that earlier, and yeah, this is going to be really, really close in terms of time. So my kind of question that I want to pose to you is, let's face it, you're going to be able to get from one pole to another pole in under 10 minutes. Do you think the size of these islands are big enough? Now, do bear in mind one major point. You know, three different zones in each continent. So if you put them together, there would be six zones and the continent would be much bigger. But the way that Blizzard have broken it up, and therefore you've only got three zones to level in, and then you've got six zones to world quest in. Yay, yippee ki yay. As we come towards an end, do you think that is enough? Do you think it's going to make leveling boring? Do you think it's going to make the islands feel small? Especially once flying comes about in uh, whatever patch it is. But here we are. We have hit the northernmost points. There you go. Get the comment section triggered. Uh, 9 minutes 30 seconds. There was what? 11 seconds difference between the two. Uh, so yeah, as I said, you can easily get from pole to pole uh, in under 10 minutes on each of these islands. And you can see the size as are compared to the other two quite massive so do you think with the islands being now separated the continents being separated to three zones each do you think everything's going to start feeling very small very quickly or do you think there's enough there to keep you going and at top level of course you can world quest in both continents i just I'd be interested to see what people kind of think about that. Uh, so with that said, I hope you enjoyed the vid. Thank you, Claire Bear, for uh, bribing me. And also, Interfeces said I'd give you a mention as well. Um, I hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, do give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social media and Twitch for live streaming. Links there in the description box down below. And I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care, everyone. Bye for now.